Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion bringing you guys another video. In today's video, we are going to be doing In the Mind of Exotic Motion. Ill Mind of Exotic Motion. You guys are going to be seeing exactly how I play, man. I mean, this is old gameplay. I'm watching this gameplay with you guys, and I'm going to tell you guys what was going on in my head, why I did the things I did, and stuff like that. And maybe it's going to make you a better player. I don't know if it will or not. And a lot of you guys are going to say the decisions I made were dumb, and yes, they are. But when you play a game, you're going to make dumb decisions. Not every decision you make is going to be perfect. But let's get into the game. All right, so as you guys can tell, first hard points right there. And my teammate got in my way. I usually go far right, but I decided this time, I don't know why. I wanted to jump on the hard point as quick as I can. I don't know. I've never taken that route before. That was literally the first time I did it. So I usually take this route right here. I come up this way, go through cat yellow rail right here. Or a catwalk, yellow catwalk, and I try and slay out like like right here. What's happening? They don't. They're not really too ready for that. And I know they're gonna be spawning this way or trying to run down this way to try and flank my teammates. And as you can see, I killed one. The other one got around and killed me. I don't know what the hell why he was using that gun. That's I don't know. If you're playing ranked play, please don't use those guns if you're on my team. Um, and as you guys can see, I always go up this way. That's that's my favorite route. And the thing that sucks about telling you guys on how I think is if you guys get into games with me, you're going to be able to counteract everything I do. But it's, it's going to make you guys better players because if you guys can try and play like me, then maybe, just maybe, it'll make you a better player. I'm not saying I'm good. I mean, I think I'm good, but I'm not saying I'm great, you guys. But now my objective is to rotate. I'm flipping spawns. I'm trying to rotate. But... I don't know how they kept spawning back there, man. It is extremely hard for that spawn to get flipped unless they have people trying to flip the spawn. If they don't have people trying to make effort to flip spawns, they're always going to spawn back there, man. They're, they're just going to keep spawning back there. Uh, now you see, watch the minimap. I looked at the minimap. I saw two of my teammates spawning back there. So I knew they were going to come from this way or mid-cut. Now, if, if you were watching the minimap, I saw Glizzy, my teammate in the yellow, on the mini map, he was mid cut, so there was no way they're gonna spawn that way. So I knew they were coming that way. That's why I turned around and I looked this way. And I'm pushing up now. Now I wanna push up and I wanna try and get them to spawn on the other side. So now, if you watch the mini map, you could that's pretty much exactly what you need to do is watch the mini map, watch where your teammates are spawning, and watch where you see red dots. Cause when you see red dots, you know there's gonna be then more than just one person over there. So and you're pretty much gonna figure that's where they're spawning. And that's everything in hard point. Knowing where they spawn and controlling the rotations and stuff like that. I mean, you, you're going to take over. Uh, now, we did not rotate on time on this one, so I knew we didn't. I was trying to push back here as quick as I can. I saw Glizzy getting in it, so I was going to kill the people trying to rotate over. Ended up picking up two of them. There was a third one. I don't think I ended up getting him. I tried, but he ended up killing me. But I gave the call out, so Glizzy knew he was over there. Glizzy ends up getting the or not Glizzy, but King Mac ends up getting the kill. Um, and I'm spawning parking lot, so I know they're gonna be spawning over at that second hard point area. Uh, I just gotta try and try and pick them out, slay them out. Um, but they actually spawn there quicker than me, so we ended up losing. Now Glizzy's still spawning parking lot. My teammates, actually, I didn't see any over there, and I see that there's gunfights going on parking lot, so I figured, let me go help them out parking lot. That's where they are. There's 15 seconds left. I'm going to work on rotation, uh, and I must try and slay out while I work on this rotation. I think. Maybe maybe I, that's not what I said. I don't know. But right now, I know I got to rotate. Um, I, I saw that they were on the hard point, and I was right next to the hard point. Now, most of you guys would have probably tried to fight for that hard point still, but don't fight for it, even if... They have people there. Push for the next one because if your teammates, if they have one person fighting for 10 seconds on that hard point, have your teammates rotate. And when your teammates kill them as you're rotating, they're going to start spawning at that old hard point. So then you're going to have control of the new hard point. So that's when it's going to be hard for them because they got to run all the way across the map. And you guys are going to have control. So don't fight for it if there's 10 seconds. Even if, even if you're right there, just get the fuck and try and rotate to the next one. I mean, 10 seconds isn't going to hurt, you know? Uh, now, as you can see, we're spawning on this left side, so they're going to be spawning dirt road. Um, I didn't see any dirt road, so now I'm like, okay, my team's spawning dirt road, so now they're going to spawn over there. It's just literally watching the minimap. You check things. If you don't see anything, look at the minimap, see if your teammates are spawning where you just checked, and then you got to know. You, it's, it's, it's quick, man. Everything's... It, Everything's so quick, and I'm saying, like, obvious things, but there's a lot of people that it's just they have to hear it in order to, like, learn it, you know? Um, checking the minimap is fucking huge, man, because 
you'll learn where your team's spawning, you'll learn where the enemy's shooting at, and then you'll end up learning where they're spawning. You'll know how to act on that. And that's pretty much all Hardpoint is, man. I mean, it's also gunfights. I mean, I was sloppy right there. I was just spraying. It's also gunfights, but mainly rotation. It's controlling the spawns, man. Controlling the spawns, rotating on time, things like that. Now, if you see we're all spawning this way, they're going to keep spawning in that little uh, parking lot in the back there. So... Uh, there's two things you can do now you can have your teammates keep flooding in right here like we were doing Or you can have someone flank all the way around which is what I'm about to do uh, I'm gonna flank around. I'm gonna make sure if I don't see anyone. I saw my other teammate flanked around too I saw he picked him off. That's why I didn't go into the complete far back um, And now I'm just sitting up here waiting for them to come There's five seconds left. So I'm rotating. I'm not even worrying about it finding people to kill and Rotating with my team slaying out. That's that's the thing that I want to do. That's my objective is to just Find where they're spawning and slay out man Make sure that my teammates don't have to deal with it too often don't have to deal with whoever's on the hill You don't want them to have to deal with too many gunfights You you want them to be able to stay on the hill keep moving around and yes They're gonna get in gunfights and if you're the hill bitch you gotta fucking win those gunfights man They're huge. Those are the hugest gunfights you can win But my team I know my team's spawning if you look at the minimap, let's watch the minimap now. Um, I actually saw that guy, so I know they're all going to be spawning back there. Uh, fucking the ladder stall, just retarded, got in my way. But they're going to keep spawning back there. They're still going to spawn back there. I, I don't know what I was thinking right there. I should have known that they were going to keep spawning back there. And as you guys can tell, I'm going mid cut because they got, they got this hard point. There's 10 seconds left. Um... And I know they're spawning back there. Now, what I want to do is, because they're spawning back there and they're going to be running to the hard point, my objective is to flank around them, kill them all, while my teammate's pushing one way, I'm pushing the other way, and we're just going to end up slaying them off the hard point, which I believe is what we do. That's what we did. We ended up taking them all out, and they now they have top spawn. So we're spawning down here. They're spawning up top. Uh, now, for them, you need someone with trophy because for them, all they're thinking is nade hard point, nade hard point, stun hard point, stun hard point. They're going to hit you with what they got, man. They're going to hit you with all their tactical grenades. Um, and if you don't have fucking trophy system, man, it's actually going to take you off the hard point quick. Because, I mean, think about it. If you got four people running all freaking grenades, man, all they have to do is everyone shoot the hard point, and then there's no way that you can escape. You're going to die. It's, it's, you got to have someone running trophy. That's why I end up running trophy when I run the bow. Um, and now there's eight seconds left. I just really wanted that kill. That's the only reason I'm pushing still. And you're going to see me rotate in a second after I get that kill. I believe I rotate. Um, we should have rotated a little bit early on that one. That's why they ended up getting that hard point. But I see their dirt road. I know their dirt road. I'm giving the call out. I have two teammates pushing dirt with me. Um, so I'm not... We, we are, we're slaying them all out dirt. I know there, there's probably only one or two more on the hard point because we literally killed a lot of them. Um, but now they're going to be spawning at that second hard point. So they're going to be coming down this way. See, there's one coming down that way right there. And my teammate needs to watch dirt. See, the thing is that you could get tricked up about is you could be looking at the way they're going to spawn, but they can end up trying to flank. So it's going to confuse you, and you're going to think that they're spawning a different way. That's why flanking is really good. But then again, if you spend your whole time flanking, you're going to give the enemy way too many points on the hard point. you got to know how to balance everything out in the hard point. And the hard point games, pretty much. Um, and yeah, let's let's keep going with the the hard point. I'm rotating as you guys see. There's five seconds, six seconds. There was when I noticed it, and I decided to rotate. I'm um, checking who's up, who's down. Now they have the hard point. Now I'm gonna just push up and try and slay out as many of them as I can. I don't think I end up getting any of them. I got one of them. There's two more on it, but I gave the call out to my teammates. There's two on it. Uh, they're pushing up that B side. If B-Bomb was there, they're pushing up that B-side. And I'm going to push up Dirt Road. Now, the reason I was looking behind is because that's where they're going to be spawning is Dirt Road. So I was just checking to make sure they didn't spawn. Um, but we 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 spawned. Look where my teammate's spawning again. My teammates are still spawning B-Road. So I'm working on Dirt Road. That's why I turned around. One of them probably came through the middle, and that's why he ended up killing me. Um, it's, it's a team effort, man. you, you got to have teammates killing just as bad. Now, I'm, I'm Dirt Road. So my teammates need to look B-Side, which... Instantly, that's exactly where I go for, and I come right to B-side. There's one. He ends up killing me, and then there's another one there. But I gave the call out, man. It's okay. As long as you give the call out, you got to talk, too. There's seven seconds left. I see the new hard point, and I just stay here. They have a kid rotating. Now, that kid was smart by rotating. Uh, the thing about rotation is 
when you rotate early with seven or eight, ten seconds left, don't get on the hard point expecting it to be easy. Because there are, if they're good players, they're gonna already be rotated with you. So get to the hard point and know that you're gonna get in a gunfight. Be ready. Always be ready, man. Don't ever just think that you outsmarted the other team and you gotta be careful. That's another thing that people that separate good people from okay people is the good people are always ready. If you watch them, they look like they're trying their ass off because they're just always quick, man. They're always ready. They're always on their toes. They're, they're jumping around. They're, they're acting like every kill is fucking MLG. I mean, that's what makes them so much better. Now, if you're just walking around the map slowly, just trying to kill people, of course you're going to be bad. But the game's coming to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips, man. I'm, I'm hoping it'll make you guys better. If you guys go play Solar Hardpoint and you guys actually do really good, I dropped a 50 bomb. If you guys can do good... Send me a picture on Twitter. I'll favorite it, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, man. Let's break 600 likes. I know you guys can, and I will see you guys tomorrow for a vlog. Peace.